We are taking you to an escape room experience in Moscow. I have a buddy named Alexi. He wants to take us everywhere. I'm talking the best clubs, the best restaurants. This guy's so rich that everything he does is the best. Alan, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Are you in a bus or something? Or yeah, <laughs> like right train? Now. I'm in a bus right now. Let me see. I'm just going to can connect properly. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I got you good. Perfect. Perfect. Well, yes, this is so have... cool. Tell me about your background. I'm kind of fascinated by it. Oh, <laughs> I'm building a tiny house right now um, and so in Wisconsin. And so uh, this is actually our office. Um, and I reached out to a guy that's lived in his, it's a 60 square foot tiny house. I also known as a 144 Mercedes Sprinter. And so he's uh, upgrading his Sprinter to the bus. But in the midst of that, I reached out to him on Instagram because I loved his van build that I saw him on yeah. that he's lived in for four years. And he said, I'll put my bus on hold. We'll make it the office, come up here and we'll build the van. So we're building the van right here. <laughs> well, that is awesome. I yeah. love it. We're in Wisconsin. Um, it's like South Central Wisconsin. I, uh, I actually, at the last, I've been wanting to do this for two or three years in quarantine because, you know, just... It was yeah. a good time to do it. And um, and then I decided to document the build on YouTube. So I have a YouTube um, documenting the build series called Holland Days, like holidays, but yeah. Holidays. Oh, so, I'm going to check yeah. this. This is fascinating. I love it. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's been yeah. fun. It's been, I have no building experience as of three months ago, but um, the build time and the YouTube time, there's about a three to four week lag because yeah. of, um, just making sure I could handle YouTube plus a build. Uh, but yeah, it's been fun. I learned table saw, Cirque saw, multi-tools, um, mitering, making my own doors, spray painting, um, subfloor, insulation. Yeah. You know what? You, you have a second career now. If this acting thing doesn't work out somehow, you're just going to be building uh, things. I don't know if people would be paying me um, to, to build. <laughs> I, I probably would not be compensated, but it's it's been fun. It's, it's definitely yeah. like a new hobby of mine that... I'm like, it's, it's a, there's a learning curve. It's really building on a van, especially everything's curved. So mm -hmm. no two measurements when you're measuring from here on this right. side. It's not, it doesn't square up. Mm -mm. It's a really, really, it's really difficult to build. So we have, um, my builder and my new friend, Steve Mivis, as I call him. Um, but see, yes, I call the Mivis touch because um, <laughs> You're full of nicknames and like puns. I love it. Well, because yeah, because there's certain cuts I can't make, and and it's just not feasible to expect me to make those. Yeah. And, um, and so he's been building, and he's an engineer as well. And his best friend is also an engineer and builder, and his best friend's wife's also an engineer and builder. So they are quite the creative trio. And um, his his best friend's wife has his best friend his best friend's wife have come on board as well. So to try and get this build done in time, so I can yeah. Uh, Get back to oh, Los Angeles. This is going to yeah. be so cool. I'm going to follow this and see how this unravels, really, because that's that's oh, unique. I that. That's a way to do something quarantine. Some like everyone's kind of stuck at home and stuff, but this is you're using creativity and learning new skills, which is trying super to. Cool, you know, it's a that. lot of stress and it's really right. hard. Um, but in theory and in retrospect, and it's it's and it's it's one of the best opportunities I've ever been presented totally. with in my life, and I chased after and um. It's hard. It's hard and there's long days and you live in dirt in, in, and grime and chemicals and your fingers are peeling always. And, uh -huh. you know, it's it's a lot of hard work, um, but it's it's something I'm really grateful for. Yeah, you can handle it from what I've seen in this movie and no escape. I, I think you will be fine because there's all worse things that happen on screen in the movie to you. They uh, put us through the ringer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you really you're all for everything. Uh, tell me your involvement with this film. I remember Will, um, he did Escape Room uh, a couple of years ago and I talked to him about it. I really enjoyed that movie. Uh, and so this movie, it, it felt like a lot of different movies in a sense. It felt like a little bit of Saw, a little bit of mm -hmm. an Escape Room movie, um, a little bit of like Hostel, you know, and a movie followed that I did that came out over the summer. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really cool. What, what kind of caught you with this script and, and, and made you want to be part of it? Because I enjoyed it. I think it's, it's all in one. You know, there are a lot Thank of different Thank you. Topics. I'm glad you loved it. Yeah, it was, uh, so coming from my Team Wolf background, I, I do get a lot of horror scripts. And I, I say content's king. I don't care what genre it is. If it's, if it's a good script, it's a good script. And right. when I 
unfortunately, when I've read a lot of horror scripts, they were not good scripts. So I would pass on them. Um, and when I got Will's script, uh, my manager and I both just really loved it. And we loved how the he forayed into his into the the thriller horror aspect coming mm -hmm. from something that is quite common these days. Um, no pun intended, because I was not thinking about starting a YouTube two years ago when I when <laughs> right. I got this. But um, but yeah, I mean the YouTube craze is. I think that kids these days, the number one job they want to do is YouTube. Be a YouTuber. And so um, I love how Cole is this, you know, adventure YouTuber that's really risen through the ranks on um, in the last decade. And I'm just his childhood high school sweetheart that's sort of been along for the ride and seen this whole evolution. So I really liked that it came from this sort of romantic aspect as far as my character is concerned. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're just throwing him a really solid birthday present. And, and so I love that Will approached it from that angle. Um, where it felt really organic and like it could technically really happen to one of yeah, these totally. crazy American YouTubers that's like, I'm going to go to Russia and try this and crazy stunt and see if it works. You know, I mean, we've seen something, we've seen stories like this in the real world, which is why I, I really connected to the script. That's what I felt too. Cause I mean, the, the vlogging, that's a, a, a thing. It's a real thing. And I can mm -hmm. imagine a group of friends be like, hey, let's go on an adventure to Europe. People love to travel these days, especially, you know, our generation in a sense, it like to travel to like places where Russia's mysterious and it's, it's big. And there's a lot of hidden pockets of that place that you don't know yep. about, you know? And that's what makes it mysteriously scary that you don't know what to expect. Did you guys, where'd you guys shoot the movie? I, I'm curious about that. It's insane. We shot it in Los Angeles. The cheats were wow. amazing. <laughs> what a hell of a job. Yeah, they did a great job. It was all in Los Angeles over a couple month period and 20 minutes from my house. And faking Russia in July in Los Angeles, though, for winter in Russia was a fun situation. <laughs> like just, of course, the heavy coats and like 90 degree yeah. weather. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fascinating. I thought you might have actually shot some scenes out there in Europe somewhere, but that's... We thought that might be happening as the actors were like, are we shooting exteriors, you know, for yeah. the Red Square? But but no, they they all they, they screen screen the entire thing. Yeah. Fantastic. When you do a movie like this, I'm always fascinated by like horrors and thrillers because there's, as an audience member, you, you wait for that anticipation. Every moment can, can create something unexpected. And, you know, there's always something around the corner. How does it feel to be working on a movie? Is it kind of like a normal set or like the, you know, the kind of the surprises, the, the thrilling moments? Do you feel them as an actor too? I always kind of wonder that. How do you play into these moments as an audience where we're like tense and anticipating and it, these intense moments of tension? I honestly think it depends on the set. If the sets are mm -hmm. really intricate, um, I tend to get, you know, spooked out myself. But as far as the ambiance on set, it was pretty uh, low key and, uh, really into like the health food smoothies. <laughs> um, and, you know, Keegan Allen and Rona Rubenstein being on set. And uh -huh. it was just a really great group. We were in sort of small quarters. So all of our dressing rooms were like right, right next to each other where we could converse and hang out in the hallway. And yeah, we just had, it was a really chill, easy, the cast, we still talk today. We uh, really enjoyed our time together. And it was just a lovely experience overall. I just really, um, I wouldn't say it was necessarily creepy in between takes, but mm -hmm. once you start rolling and you really let the your surroundings affect you and envelop you, it definitely is creepy. But in between takes, not so much. <laughs> Interesting. You know, I always wonder. Sorry to interrupt, it, Jim, but you have about two minutes remaining. Okay, cool. I'm going to make my questions quick. Uh, no worries. Doing another movie called uh, Escape Room 2, which I love the first one, too, about that one. So it's a similar genre and everything. Similar. Yes. Um, th the first one was wild and I really loved it. Anything you can share about it? I know it's like in post, I think right now, yeah. but what was the experience like? I mean, I'm so looking forward to because the first one leaves you on a cliffhanger uh, and the second one kind of picks up and you're entering kind of the franchise. Yeah, I um, was elated to work with Adam, Ro Adam Robitaille and mm -hmm. uh, the actors that are from the first escape room into the second escape room. I don't ruin it for anyone who hasn't seen the first one. Mm -hmm. um, but it was funny because this movie doesn't really, sh I come from a place where it feels like a YouTuber going on this adventure. So the international title for this film is Follow Me, which is what I connect with more on this film. Okay. Um, and then for Escape Room 2, it is like a legit escape room. We are 
in this to win it. And it's just the puzzles. And as you saw with the first one, it's excellently edited. The sets are insane. Yeah, the first uh, he's one's an award winning insane. Yeah. production designer. This one tops all of the first sets. It's wow. nuts. And I were just, I was just actually telling uh, Steve's friend, uh, you know, one of the builders here uh, and engineers at uh, Mike, I was like, oh gosh, I wish the three of you could see how incredible those sets were in Cape Town. Um, any sort of physical, any aspect of physics they could incorporate, they did. Um, it is a it is a science experiment um, on and off camera on that movie. And it's incredible. The practicals there were unlike anything I've ever personally experienced. And so they're very large scale sets for that one. And I believe it's the release date, if that hasn't changed because of COVID, um, is late Jan early January, late January. Yeah, that's there. how they did the first one too. It was like a January release. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, so I'm, wanted... I'm a huge fan of the, the, the franchise. So I was really happy to be part of it. Awesome. So looking forward to it. And finally, I wanted to ask you, you I've read about you. You have like, you study mole molecular science and biology. I can't even say it. Like, what are some of your hobbies? I'm so curious because you seem like such a well-rounded person that's done so much in your life really already. And oh, now I'm so seeing funny. you working on this uh, bus <laughs> and everything. What are some interests that you have like outside of acting that you really enjoy doing? Um, well, I love my dog, Five-O. We're pretty, we're pretty hot checked at the hip. So that's pretty normal, I guess. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I've always, I always like alternative living. So I love like studying people in yurts and kids that are unschooled. Unschooling is mm. a thing. I would look up that up. It's really interesting, really interesting concept. Um, and sailing is kind of my thing. I guess I do uh, in my free time. I got my certificate, my first certificate of hopefully many um, wow. last year. And so that's one of my things with the van is in Los Angeles. I don't really live near the ocean. So I would love to be parked in the van um, near the marinas that mm. I sail at and uh just kind of living at the ocean, but not on the boat in the in the dock and the you know in the slip, but but on the side of the street. And then I can just wake up in the morning and walk right across the street and get on a sailboat. So that's that's my big goal next in the next year is to really improve my sailing skills. And I'd love to do long hauls one day where uh, you know you can go across the oceans. And that's my big goal. That's f fantastic. I mean. I'm glad to talk to you. It's so cool. I've watched you on Teen Wolf over the years oh, and, thanks, and, and now in these films. I mean, it's so exciting to see you do all these things and now in your personal life too, just exploring <laughs> the world and creating. So I uh, can't wait to see what's next for you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, I'll be following awesome. this YouTube channel. So mention awesome. it again. Uh, for Holland Days. Holland it's Holland Day. and then AYS. Like holidays, but it's my name in there with AYS, Holland Days. Perfect. I'll, I'll be tuning in for sure. Thanks, Hopefully get to catch down on the road, um, down the road and, and talk about yeah. projects. Take Perfect. care, Holland. Thank hey, you and, and make sure you create something great. <laughs> you know, I, oh, believe me, this is a spectacular. I'm already more in love with it than I ever thought I could be. And we're not even done with construction. <laughs> Perfect. Have a yeah. great one. Enjoy you Wisconsin. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye. What if this is still part of it? No, we lost. Look at the timer. You have audience. I have audience. Please let her go. Mine is just a little more selective than yours.